News on NBC6 at 6 starts now. We begin with the gloomy conditions on this Sunday. A line of storms drenching much of South Florida, making roads slippery and dangerous. Day two of competition at the Rio Olympics. Today, the U.S. women's basketball team trounced Senegal and swimmer Katie Ledecky set a new Olympic record in the pool. OK, taking a quick look at the medal count, it's a four way tie at the top with the U.S., Italy, China and Japan, all with seven medals apiece. The U.S. has one gold, five silver and a bronze. So we also have our eyes on South Florida's Ashley Johnson, who's going for gold. She's the goalkeeper on the U.S. water polo team. Coming up in 10 minutes, Adam Cooperstein talks to Johnson in Rio about her journey to the Olympics and her biggest motivation. And NBC6 is your primetime Olympic station. The Olympic women shine this evening in synchronized diving and gymnastics qualifiers. We'll also see some men and women's swimming finals. It all starts right here on NBC6. We turn now to politics. Dropping in the polls, Donald Trump is looking to boost his campaign tomorrow. That's when he makes a speech on economic growth while in Detroit. Trump campaigned in New Hampshire this weekend, blasting rival Hillary Clinton, while her running mate today addressed the issue of why voters should trust Clinton. Here's NBC's Jennifer Johnson. That's right. Plus, over in this continent, the Marlins were going for the series win in Colorado. And you know it's good when Stanton is making pitchers feel like that guy. Highlights coming up in sports.